the funny, hilarious, awesome Rouse! Tangled. Good to be here. Great to be here. A lot of beautiful faces. I know what you're thinking. I look incredible. I completely agree with you. No, I'm not that great. Yes, yes, I am. You know, that's what uh, four years in LA will do for you. Nice new haircut, fancy clothes, and crippling low self esteem. It's going well. It's going well. I am Bay Area native, though. It's good to be back up here. Bay Area. Great job. We got it all. We got the culture. We got bridges. <laughs> we got the weed. It's <laughs> good, right? You know, I don't support regular people smoking weed just myself because I'm above the fray. You know, I'm doing good though. I didn't do it for any reason though. I smoked a little bit, but I was I was one of the good people. I was doing it for my personal stuff. I had to go to the doctor. I don't, I don't like to talk about it much, but uh, when I was younger, I had a crippling case of attention deficit disorder. So it was bad. It's good to be up here though. I drove up here uh, from Los Angeles yesterday, took the five ride, stopped by the uh, Harris Ranch on the way over. You guys know the Harris Ranch? Oh, we had some fans. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, Harris Ranch is uh, one of the big steakhouses around. It's also a big meat distributor. It's famous for having uh, some of the freshest steaks that you've ever had. And the reason they're able to do this is because they slaughter and raise the cows directly next door to where you're eating the steak. Which is a big, a big selling point, because what says steak like sitting down when of a giant pile of cow shit? It's good, right? You know, I hear most of their business is word of mouth, though. It's like, buddy, I'm telling you, you haven't tried steak until you've had it with a mouthful of cow shit and fresh blood. It's incredible. I can't even eat a regular steak now. I have to take it in the bathroom. It's so much better. That's good to be back. Good to be in the Bay. I love it here. I love it here. No, a few friends in the audience. Do me a favor if you know me. I don't, say, I don't like the pity applause. All right. So do me a favor. Anytime you think something's really funny, just give me a great deafening silence. Oh, what? I'm not funny. Thanks. All right. Now I went camping the other day for this premise. That's good though. I, I went there with some friends and the great Redwoods. Hey, all the California. But uh, it was the first thing I did when I got there. We're like checking in at the site, and this uh, park ranger guy comes up. He's like, "All right, now we want you to have a good time camping, but I want you to just know you guys are gonna get some trash going, and if you do get the bags of trash, you want to put them in that bin right there, because you see we get bears coming around, and the bears like the trash." So you put it in that bin, the bear can't get the trash, and then everyone's happy. I'm like, thanks for telling me, sir, but fuck you. Because I'm not putting the trash in the bin. I don't know about you guys, but the way I see it, the trash is pretty much the last line of defense against the bear. In fact, I mean, second to last if you count the people I'm camping with. <laughs> Just saying. I'm not gonna, are you really gonna uh, raise that fuss? I mean, there's two things at a camp area that are easy targets. One, us, and only slightly more easy for the bear to get is the thing of trash. So I'm like, I'm not doing that. Can you imagine like trying to justify that if the bear actually came? Say you're walking the trash over there. And you're like, oh my god, it's a bear. What do we do? Just stay quiet. I think he wants the trash. Give him the trash. Shh. We can't. We don't want to encourage him. <laughs> Shut the hell up. It's ridiculous. The only people worse than that, I mean, don't get me wrong, I deal with my trash, but if anything, I'm not going to put it in the bin. I'm just going to wait for the people next to me to go to sleep and then lightly place it around their tent. Because <laughs> that's the safer bet. Those people stupid than the people that don't want to have trash. Or the, I mean, the people that, uh, they're like big campers, and then they came up with the idea that they're going to bring food, but uh, in order to avoid the bear, they're like, here's what you do, you want to avoid the bear. Now, you're going to have your food, right? And the bear's going to smell it, he's going to come to the sack. So what you do is you take a rope back to a tree and then you pull it right above the bear. You know, taunt him a little bit. That way he comes in there, he's at the campsite looking up at the food, and uh, pretty much he'll look at it five minutes, realize there's no food in the tree for him, and he'll just scamper off. You're like, what kind of fucking thought process is that? Obviously the bear's going to come and maul one of us, and it's going to be the people next to me with the large pile of trash. It's ridiculous. I don't like bears. I don't like bears. There are two kinds of bears I like. 
I'll be honest, I don't hate them outright. There's one, the kind that wheel around on a tricycle for my pleasure, and two, the kind that star in movies to remind me of why I hate bears. A lot of you are going to go like, what about the cartoon bears? They're so nice. And I'm like, no, no, Pooh Bear is death waiting to happen. No, that guy, what do you think is going to happen? All you got to say is, Christopher Robin, if you're in the audience, and I know you are, you better watch your back. As soon, as soon as that honey runs out, you better hope there's a trash heap nearby, or it's going to be a dark day on Pool Corner. Let me tell you, it's crazy. The only thing, people love animals. Love animals. I don't like it. I got angry. I was hanging out with my friend the other day, and he was going, uh, we were just sitting there, and he saw a butterfly. He's like, oh, I wish I was a butterfly. I'm like, do you realize how fucking stupid you sound? <laughs> you do not want to be a butterfly. Let's put, put aside the fact that you're basically cutting down the length of your life by a thousand times. And let's focus on what it is to be a butterfly. All right, so here you are. I'm a butterfly. Oh, life is great, but God's hate it. Let's put it in this crowd. <laughs> you know what? That flower is better. <laughs> Did something get dark? Is there a flash? <laughs> And it doesn't get any better up the food chain, people. What are you going to do? Be a deer? You're like, it's good being a deer. Yeah, that's a funny stick coming out of the wall. <laughs> Why? Why? It's ridiculous. I'm not innocent, though. I did want to be an animal when I was a kid. I was really obsessed with penguins. Because what says a happy life like 365 days of Antarctic tundra, the occasional dip into the water, uh, so I can be chased by a killer whale. That's always fun. Fleeing for your life. Kind of like camping with bears. No, it's good. I feel bad for the killer whale, though, right? He kind of got the short end of the stick. You know, like, why, why is he the killer whale? You know, if they could talk, they'd be pissed off. They'd be like, hey, man, what's all this killer whale shit? It's orca, motherfucker. What? What the fuck is this? How many whales? Why am I the killer whale? All right, why don't you come to another whale? What do I kill? See you today, thing with the day? Well, I'm talking blue whale. He kills like a million krill a day. He's more of a killer than me. He's like, I know what this is about. You know that I'm not even a whale? I am a porpoise. But I suppose that wasn't good enough for you, right? Not only am I a killer, now I'm fat. <laughs> Shit. You don't think I know who you up to this? It's that goddamn beluga. Yeah, I know what it is. It's because I'm half black. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I can read between the lines. Why don't you put beluga in the goddamn tank? Make him jump through a hoop. No, because he's the white whale. You won't even call him the white whale. You gave it to one guy, Moby Dick, and that's only because he killed one of you guys. Yeah, you thought that was so fascinating, you just had to write a book about it. Ridiculous. This is wrong, man, this is wrong. Are you doing the same thing to my brother, Black Bear? You see Black Bear on the endangered species list? No, no, no. You save that for the white bear. Oh, I'm sorry. Holy bear. Because God forbid we bring up his skin color. Ridiculous. You ever see a polar bear run around on a tricycle with a stupid hat? Um, um. Wrong. Ridiculous. I don't know. The one animal I do think, the one thing I, I could say being an animal for would be good is if you were a, uh, you know, a, for the sex. Because the sex is good. Animals are kind of discriminate. You don't see uh, animals going around bothering about penis size. There's no lioness uh, in the pride going like, oh, he can't handle the sack. I know they might have been. You go to the lion king. I'm fought with ten times the man you were. It's ridiculous. But it's easy if you're a lion. All you, all you do is have sex all day. Lions and the prides are awesome. Here's your day as a lion. You go, hey, come over here. Bang, bang, bang. All right, good boy. Next one. Bang, bang, bang. All right, that was good. Next one. Bang. Hey, I'm sorry, it's just really hot. It's good. Anyway, uh, pretty sure one of you is pregnant. I think I'm going to call it a day. Uh, why don't you guys go wrestle a gazelle? I'm going to take a nap. Good stuff. It would be easier for us, right, guys, if that was it? Of course, it would be a large upsurge in gun sales. Because if all you had to do was fight for it, then that's uh, pretty much how it goes. Some guy, you know, you see a woman you like in a bar, or a pride of women, you basically get the whole bar. You're like, hey man, I like your women. Fight you for them. He's like, okay, let's go. All right, let's go. All right. Uh, let's get 
did you go spray? <laughs> That's good. That's why I like Indians, because Indians have it right. They like animals, they respect animals, but they don't want to be an animal. If they like an animal, all they do is go out and shoot the animal, and then wear its fur. They're like, hey, I'm a bear. Like, who you are? Ah, who fucking cares? I look good. I look real good. Oh, damn. Look who's come down the trail. Little squaw. I like to, uh, and put my pee pee in her TV, you know what I mean? <laughs> like to enter her wigwam. Hey, what's up, little foot? You looking good, girl? Mmm. What this? Kill the bear. No big deal. Let's get it though. Anyway. Yeah, it's a good life, as a thing. Hey, what are you doing later? <laughs> I forgot the end of that bit. That brings me to my last, final point, though. <laughs> That's my point, is that uh, it's a theory of mine that, I don't know if you know, every tribe of Indians has a medicine man, and I'm pretty sure every medicine man is gay. Because how else do you explain the catchy dances they come up with? You're pretty sure that they just claimed that they talked to the gods and had all the answers just so they could get a good choreography going with the track. They're like, all right, let's do it. And step, drum, drum, and step, sashay, sashay. Like, uh, why are we doing this again? I told you, the gods said to do it. They said that'd bring rain. Uh, why rain? I don't know. I'm not a god. I just talk to the gods. Just focus on the moves. Sitting bully on my chief, I'm gonna need you to get the leg out. Yeah. Crazy. And then, they're like, so how, what did the gods say exactly? What do you mean when he said? It doesn't matter what he said. He said rain. Well, when did you talk to him? I told you, I went. I went on a vision quest, I uh, went to the forest, then I talked to the gods. Well, what did he look like? A fish? He looked a salmon, a talking salmon. Crazy. So, don't argue with me, just do the move. Then a week later, you know, uh, it's gonna be like, they do the dance and it doesn't work. And he's like, why is there no rain? Because someone was too busy hunting to learn the sex shape! That's all I got for you tonight, guys. I'm Austin Rass. Thank you very much.